Hi there and welcome. This is Tracy Bradley and today we're going to make a card that has a gift card inside. So I have it shut with our beautiful glimmered organdy ribbon. It's just so pretty with all those sparkles. So we'll take it off and when you open it inside, open it up, there's a gift card. So you could put a $5 gift card to someone instead of giving them candy for Halloween. I think that would be very appreciated. Let me show you how easy this is to make. You're going to need a piece of, uh, this is granny apple green, and it measures 12 by 4. Now we do sell 12 by 12 cardstock, but it's in assortment packs. And the granny apple green is part of the Brights family. So if you look in the catalog with, um, on the page of the Brights, you'll see the 12 by 12 paper there. So again, this is cut at 12 by 4. You're going to need two pieces of basic black, basic black that measure three and three fourths by three and three fourths. The designer series paper I'm using is called Toil and Trouble. It really has some pretty designs. So this one measures three and a half by three and a half. So again, you'll need two. For some side panels, you'll need two pieces of basic black that measure one and three fourths by three and three fourths. And then the little panels are one and a half by three and a half. A piece of whisper white that's three and three fourths by three and three fourths. And then you'll need a little scrap of black and a scrap of white, whisper white, to do the sentiment there. I'm going to bring in my paper trimmer and we're going to do a little bit of scoring. So you're going to go on your long side here and you're going to score at four. Eight, nine, and ten. All right, so you have th three score lines down at this end. So you're going to take this one and fold it that way. And then this one will go the opposite way and the other one will go the opposite way. So you've got it looking like this. We'll get a good score line there. Not a good score line, a good fold on the score line. All right, and then we'll go ahead and we'll fold this one in. Now we're going to create, let me grab my card here, we're going to create this little spot here that holds our gift card. So we're gonna turn it over and we're going to add a piece of tearing tape. You want something that's heavy. And we're gonna add it just at the score line. Don't fill the whole section or you won't be able to get your gift card in. And I know that personally because I did it and found out, oh, can't do that. So now we'll take this off and then just fold these two pieces together like that. Okay, so now we have created that little part right there. Now you'll take your gift card, and what I like to do is figure out about where I want it to, um, where, where it's gonna sit, so that you have an even amount here. And I like to just put a little pencil mark. All right, so now we're gonna bring in the classic label punch and just so that you you know you just want this piece here make sure that is behind and I'm going to put this in and line it up right to where my pencil mark is and I want to do it so that it's um, let me show you so right here right here at this corner right there not not there we're going to do it right there so we'll put that back in, line that up, and I like to do about half of the punch so that the green, the green is showing. Okay, do you see what I'm doing? And then punch, and then move it down until you see that other score line, and then you wanna line up right here, line your card stock up there. So just like that. And now I've made that little part for my gift card. At first you have to kind of open it up there. 
and it just fits in perfectly. Okay. I probably want to do it so that it's going the correct way. So let's go ahead and decorate it now. We'll bring in all those pieces that we cut. So I'm using snail. And we'll just attach this here. Now we'll go ahead and put these in. We'll put one right here. This is the inside. And then we'll put the whisper white there. You can write something. Now on this one I used another design in our paper with the little brooms, but this one I decided we would just use the little witch again. And we'll put this one right here. And then in the front, oh and then the other one goes right here. And then on the front, we'll put this last one. Now I like to put the, the gift card in so that when they open it, they see the front rather than the back. So we'll put it, put it in here like that. And then we'll wrap it with the glittered organdy ribbon. Mm, I just love this ribbon. And I have used it a lot. And then all that's left is to do our sentiment. We're using the stamp set, Take Out Treats, and we're using right here the Enjoy. And I'm going to stamp that with Granny Apple Green onto Whisper White. And I'll punch it out with our one and one eighth inch scallop circle punch and then we're going to do black in the one and three eighths. I love using my punches. It sounds so lazy but I don't like to have to get up when I'm crafting but it's good. I'm going to walk over to my big shot. But when I can use punches I have to admit I do like it. Oops. And then I'm going to add some more of this to the front, right underneath that ribbon. And then to finish it off, I'm going to use some of our gorgeous glitter enamel dots. Let's see. I don't have any of the smaller ones, so I think I'll use two of the larger ones. Woo! So pretty! All right, so there is our gift card holder. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. Have a great day. Bye-bye.